What's up guys, this is Clint Lund with Galfer USA. Today we're talking mountain bike brake pads and everything that Galfer has to offer you. So as you guys know, we don't just have one singular compound that will work on every single bike. Actually, we specify that we have three different compounds that tailor to your personal riding style and not everyone else in the world. Some people like it soft in the back with a lot of bitey, heavy modulation. Some like in the front, a lot of aggressive bite, but then a lot of lever modulation. Some like no bite or a soft bite. Everyone's different. So at Galfer, we believe that we should tailor your braking needs to your specifications, not to ours. So what we offer you guys three different pad compounds to fit your caliper. The first one being our next level compound. Now the package might say our standard, but our standards are higher than others. That's why it's a next level pad. This is gonna closely replicate an OEM pad. The difference here is you're gonna get a longer life and you're gonna get a quality stopping power over OEM. What does that mean? This pad is near dead silent. You get water in it, it might howler squeal for a second and then it goes away really fast. This pad is extremely long lasting and it's uh, the bite, the modulation at the lever is very similar to what you're gonna feel on an OEM pad. Moving over to our next one is gonna be our e-bite compound. The e-bite compound by far is one of our most popular compounds because it says e-bike on the packaging, but know this, they were developed for e-bikes, but that's not necessarily what they're for. They're great on an analog bike. And what we mean by that is you're gonna have a fantastic bite right off the pull of the lever, but it's not gonna be too aggressive. Then on a long descent, you're gonna have that lever modulation that you crave, that's never gonna fade no matter how long the descent is. These pads are by far our longest lasting pads and they fit a variety of calipers and fitments. The pound is obviously gonna work fantastic on your e-bikes. That's what they're developed for. We actually took it from the light scooter market. We figured light scooter, heavy e-bike, there's gotta be some similarities there. It turns out we weren't far off at all. So what ended up happening is after a little bit of tweaking, after we got the formula right, it turned into this fantastic pad that Commensal Muck Off team, a bunch of UCI championship teams use. Nico Mulally uses them on his bike and so many more. Uh, this pad is known to just keep giving no matter what. You guys know how when you're coming down a long descent you gotta keep pulling in the brake because it starts to heat up and squeal and then you find yourself pulling in more and more harder on the lever? It's not gonna happen with the e-bike pads because this is what they're developed for. Long descents, heavy heats, high torture, and it's gonna stand up and it's gonna last longer than anything else on the market. Stamp it. Next we got our pro pad. So this pro pad is exactly that. We named this accordingly. It's for the new pros out there, or the guys who are more of an advanced rider. What do you get out of the pro pad? <laughs> well, honestly, it's gonna be that heavy, heavy, aggressive bite right off the bat that you crave. It's gonna have a little bit of modulation, not as much as e-bike pad when I'm talking up front, it's gonna have a little bit of modulation, but here's a trade-off. It is a softer compound, so it is gonna wear away a little bit faster than say the e-bike compound, but that's a give and take. It's a softer compound, gives you a really hard, aggressive initial bite, but it's gonna last and it's gonna take you through a lot of heat cycles too before those things start to wear out. The best thing that I find so far, and this is with talking with a lot of people from Sea Otter Classic and a lot of different events, is when uh, you get to pick different compounds like this, what's really cool is you can actually tailor front and rear compounds to how you want your bike to feel. A lot of guys will put the pro compounds, pro compounds up front or in the rear, depending on where they want that aggressive bite at, and then they'll mix it with the e-bike compound in the front or rear also. The most popular combination is gonna be the e-bike up front and putting the pro pad in the rear, because that's what that's gonna do is on those switchback trails, it's gonna allow you to lock up that rear wheel and get your transitions going. Meanwhile, feathering in that front brake and having that nice modulation to slow you down without that crazy lockup that that pro pad will give you. Guys, we obviously have a ton of rotors in stock and options there as well. We're constantly developing newer, better ways to stop you guys better and faster. We just introduced our brand new Shark rotor that was developed by the UCI Commensal Muckoff team. Really excited about that. We're getting numbers coming in from Spain very soon. We're gonna have great stock on those. But if you're curious about any one of these compounds and you wanna learn more, check out our website. That's www.galfreusa.com forward slash bike. And you can put in right there your, your caliper and you could see a whole drop down list of what we have available for Maguros, Hayes, Formula, SRAM, Shimano, you name it. Guys, we have every caliper in there. We're always updating our fitments too, which is very important because the bike community, 
they make sure that they're good on constantly upgrading you guys with the newest tech. So we're trying to stay on the forefront of that too. So with that, guys, I hope you learned something today, and I hope you took a lot from it. And again, if you have any more information, feel free to contact us at any time. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for stopping by.